Are expensive lures really better? Before we get into it, please hit that like and subscribe button. It really does help the channel and I kind of need it. So you and I are going to look at two jerk baits. One is normal priced, a little bit expensive, and then one is El Cheapo, like a dollar sixty. Seriously, a dollar sixty. What we're going to look at is the components. We're going to look at the hooks. We're going to look at the castability. We're going to look at the action. And here's where the twist is going to happen. I want you to tell me which one is the cheap one and which one is the expensive one. Because quite honestly, in the comments of all the videos of the closer looks, I constantly see people saying the lure is too expensive. And I understand that and appreciate it. But we need to figure out which one is better. Better Is the $1.60 one even worth getting versus the one that's probably 15 bucks? And I'm not going to tell you which one is it which. I want you to comment below which one you would buy, which one you would prefer, lure A or lure B. And then at the very, very end, after everything I say goodbye, I'll tell you which is which. I'm not going to leave you hanging. It's not a cliffhanger. But we need to just, we need to have fun. This is part of the budget series, and it's part three. And it's jerk baits. So here we go. So first off, no cheating. Lure A has stainless steel treble hooks. They're a little bit longer shanked treble hooks. They are decent, they are sharp, and overall not too bad. The components on this one are not as heavy duty as Lure B, but quite honestly, they're not really that bad. The hooks are not bad. They're not great, but they're not the worst. The paint scheme is, paint schemes are, are really good on all of them, on Lure A and Lure B but you'll notice uh, the eyes are a little bit different. This has, uh, in, in terms of the casting, the casting on Lure A was much better than Lure B. I don't know if it's the weight transfer system's a little bit better. Both of them weigh pretty much the same amount, but in terms of casting accuracy and casting distance, Lure A was significantly better, and that was a big surprise for me. I didn't realize there was gonna be such a big difference in the casting and accuracy. And then last but not least is the action of the lure, which you will see for yourself and I'm not gonna tell you anything about it. So Lure B offered three treble hooks, which is a big difference. Same weight transfer system, a little bit of a rattle, good components, a little bit shorter shank treble hooks that are much heavier and much sharper. They come to a little bit better point. And like I said in the first one, the casting dif distance on this one was drastically different than lure A. I found that this kind of when it when you cast that when you cast this, it would get in the air like so and go this way, and it might go to the right just a little bit. The accuracy was not as good on lure B as lure A, which was the biggest surprise I had in this. But the components are much better on lure B, and I like the treble hooks a lot better too. But the action is where you will see and not hear my commentary. So which one do you choose? Which one is better? We got 10 for $16, and then we had one which was a little over $16, give or take. $16.99, somewhere in that range. Do you know which one is, do you know which is which? Which one's the most more expensive one? Which one was the cheaper one? And really, I want to know what your comments are. Would you buy the 10 for $16? Because $1.60, you don't mind losing it. But that one for $16 and $17, is there that big of a difference in the action of the lure? As my notes fall down. That's what I want to know. I want to hear what you think. I want you to put in the comments which one is which. Which one's the cheap one? Which one is the expensive one? And why you would go with either one. That's what I want to know. I'll tell you now, Lure B is the most expensive. Is the expensive one. There it is. If you've made it this far, thank you, but you should have hit that subscribe button by now. Seriously, you should have hit that subscribe button by now. There's lots more of these coming, and I really appreciate you guys taking the time and getting this far in the video. Okay, remember, take a kid fishing, get your fish on. See y'all soon. Cheers.